everybody. It's late. Uh, what is today? Wednesday night, the 20th of November. I had a really good day today. I had some uh, Christian fellowship, which I, I, when I, I, I realize that I, I'm starving for that, uh, uh, that's why I appreciate you guys so much, and especially those of you that will uh, comment and, uh, on my channel. I I don't really have a church of my own, so uh, any Christian fellowship I can have uh, is really a blessing to me. Uh, I went to a... I'm blessed to be working for this company, and the uh, owners are... Uh, real Christians, not just professing Christians. You have a lot of trucking companies that profess to be Christian, but they, they're really not. This one is. And so we had a uh, Bible study today, and the owner of the company goes, and uh, she knows me by my name. Actually, they they tell me that I'm a good driver and uh, all this good stuff, which makes my head swell, I guess, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, so, it's a blessing, and, uh, then we have a guy, uh, I don't know, I very seldom get to go, uh, it's on Wednesday at 11.30 at, during the day, and I'm hardly ever there, uh, but when I am, then, uh, I go, and they give you, uh, a free lunch, and, uh, which is nice, and then you, uh, they got a good preacher. He's a Southern Baptist, um, and he's a pretty uh, well-known guy, but I can't remember his name. Uh, but the Southern Baptist, they, uh, I don't know much about the Southern Baptist because I'm independent Baptist when I went to Baptist church, but, uh, uh, they got a, a little workbook in uh, the Bible study that they're doing uh, from David Jeremiah. I don't know if you know who he is, but uh, he's a real uh, what are these guys doing? He's a real uh, a popular pastor, I think, on radio and uh, has a great big church or something. And uh, he's doing a thing that's called Signs, and they gave out a book. Of course, I didn't get one, but I'm never there. Uh, I told him I had a book. <laughs> it's called a King James Bible. But so, uh, but they were studying on uh, Ezekiel 38, and uh, they took the uh, the opinion that you know. Uh, Russia is going to be the leader of the uh, coalition that goes against Israel, which is quite possible. Um, uh, it, because of the the country coming down from the north and all that. Ex Ezekiel 38, it's a, a great chapter, but we had a real good uh, study and I got to talk to the preacher for a little while and I really enjoyed that. And he said, uh, well, what church do you go to? And I told him, you know, I don't. I uh, I got kicked out of my church because of lack of attendance. And he said, what? And, and he said, well, what do you do? And I said, well, I listen to a lot of people on uh, YouTube. And he asked me who I listen to. And I, uh, I told him about... Uh, KJV reviews. Uh, I said the people I listen to, there's not, uh, they don't have a lot of followers. You know, I listen to a couple of them, but I, uh, I told them about him and I watch uh, Gospel Over Gimmicks, uh, Storm and Norman. I really like him, and I told them about Charles Lawson Temple Baptist Church uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee. I really enjoy them and then just to watch a, a Southern Baptist cringe I said and I watch a whole bunch of uh, Peter S. Ruckman 
and his eyes just, whoa, I don't agree with Ruckman. He uh, divided churches and all that, and, and he's probably right about that. Ruckman never bad mouthed the King James Bible. That's one thing I really like about him. And I've always said you got to eat the meat and spit out the bones. And with Peter Ruckman, you got to spit out. He's got some big bones you got to spit out, but. I just can't help it. I like the guy. I don't know why. Uh, uh, I don't think he teaches uh, false doctrine uh, when it comes to the gospel and stuff. There's a lot of things. He, he, you know, the. I don't agree with really with the way he looked at the gap theory, and uh, and he has some real strange ideas about a lot of things that I just. I just overlook it, you know. I don't... Nobody agrees uh, with anybody totally, but I am not a Ruckmanite, and I do not like being called that. And I have been called that. On, uh, and I'll tell you why, why is because I don't like Ruckmanites. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I like Peter Ruckman. I uh, listen to a lot of his stuff, and I learn a lot. The man knew that Bible uh, backwards and forward. I got a, on my playlist, I have uh, questions and answers, and they ask him questions, and uh, boy, he could just give you all kind of scripture, and I enjoy that, but I don't like, uh, like there's a lot, I'm not even going to name their names, but there's a lot of Ruckman Knights on YouTube, and I've watched some of their stuff, and they just, uh, it's they're so hateful, and uh uh, and so was Ruckman. I, I know that. I'm not defending him. He was, uh, he, he didn't have a lot of grace with people, but he, uh, I like his stand on the King James. And, uh, but, uh, the Ruckmanites, when they do it, they just, uh, they just turn me off real quick. When you start just, uh, bad mouthing other Christians for no reason, I mean, you know, I'm not a Southern Baptist, but I got along great with that guy today. They didn't read out of the King James. They were reading out of a different version of the Bible. And I kept my mouth shut. I didn't say a word about it. You know, they love the Lord. I am sure they do. And, uh, you know, they're saved. Uh, and when they... Uh, they don't want to read out of the King James. I'm not going to... That's not my dragon to slay. I am convinced the King James Bible is the preserved Word of God in the English language. I'm convinced of that. You can't sway me from that opinion. But uh, I'm not going to... You know, the time's too short. Jesus is coming back, folks. I don't want to argue and uh, over somebody, if somebody likes a different version of the Bible. I'm not going to... I'm not going to, you know... I, I can give the argument why I like the King James, but if you like a different version of the Bible, read it. But read a Bible. Read the Bible. I would rather you read the King James, but listen, uh, life's too short, and a lot of people uh, will take that to an extreme. Uh, in my opinion, and, and uh, they'll say, well, you're not saved if you don't listen or don't read the King James, and I don't believe that at all. I do believe that it's uh, quite superior uh, to any other English version. Of course, it's the Texas Receptus, uh, the received text, and uh, all the other ones, you know, the West Cotton Hort, there are a lot, a lot of problems, and... Uh, in those Bibles, but that's not my dragon to slay. But uh, so anyway, I did get, I did have a good time today, and praise God for that. I get to, uh, I'm getting to know the owner of the company, which is not a bad thing to do if you're an employee, uh, you know. And I get to talk to them, and uh, you know, see what they're really all about. And uh, they, I believe uh, they're true Christians. They're Southern Baptists, but, uh, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> 
anyway, uh, I got to go into a uh, snow snowstorm tomorrow, so I would uh, ask uh, all of those that pray for me to pray for uh, my safe travels. I really would appreciate it, and uh, pray for a lot of these uh, people that are out here all the time. Well, uh, you can tell when the economy is doing real good because of the amount of trucks you'll see on the road. And they have been uh, putting a lot of new drivers out. And this will be their first winter uh, on the road. I talked to a driver and uh, he said that he's a new guy, a novice driver. And he said, well, I just drive the truck like I do a car. And uh, I, I just, uh, uh, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And it's people like that that's going to get you killed. And a lot of these drivers out here are not uh, experienced drivers. And you'll see them in the ditches and in, uh, in the snowstorms and stuff because they drive the truck like they do a car. <laughs> It's not a car. You're 80,000 pounds. But, uh, <clears throat> so let's pray for the, the people that are uh, going to be out in that snowstorm tomorrow. And uh, that's about all I had to say. I hadn't uh, made a video today, so I thought I'd tell you what a wonderful day I had uh, with, in fellowship with uh, God's people. And uh, you know... If you're a born-again Christian, when you talk to somebody, <coughs> you can tell pretty quick if your spirit witnesses with them, if the Holy Spirit uh, witnesses with them, if you have any discernment at all. And it did, and I had a real uh, good time studying the Bible with those folks. And I'd like to do it every Wednesday, but I don't always get that opportunity. But anyway... Uh, that's about all I got to say. I am in Arkansas. Carla Keck's neck of the woods somewhere around here. So, uh, anyway, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night or day or whenever you watch this. And remember to read those Bibles, folks. Read those Bibles. It doesn't matter what any man's opinion uh, is. It's what that Bible has to say. That's our final authority. So, uh, just because I like Ruckman doesn't mean I think that he's right about everything. Trust me, I don't. I'm not a Ruckmanite, but I, I do watch his videos. <laughs> he's entertaining to me, and I've been saved 35 years, so I think I can... Uh, uh, discern you know the good and the bad I wouldn't recommend him to a new believer I'll tell you that but uh, I like him and boy you should have saw that preacher's eyes light up. he knew who I was talking about uh, he knew who Peter Ruckman was and boy he didn't like him at all but I didn't uh, I didn't go into it I, a lot of people a lot of people I love a lot do not like him cannot stand him but uh and I'm not going to defend him. I mean, I watch him. I don't have a problem with him. But uh, anyway, uh, y'all have a wonderful night. Read those Bibles, folks. Remember to read those Bibles. Pray for me, uh, if you would, uh, for safe travels tomorrow. I really appreciate you guys uh, that watch these videos. And I really appreciate you guys that pray for me. Uh, read your Bibles and pray without ceasing and uh, maybe I'll get to show you a snowstorm tomorrow alright I love you and God bless you have a wonderful 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 night